Hey, ya uh, YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you another episode of Regrowth, where we're bringing this cold, dead, desolate world back to life one block at a time. And uh, in our last episode, we started playing with the, what, oh, I thought, oh, it isn't night. I felt like it was getting night. Uh, we started playing with the Teleposer and the uh, Teleposition Focus, and we weren't getting it to work. Now, I'm going to read the comments because you geniuses out there knew what I was doing wrong. And we're going to go over that. So, um, what we had laid out here doesn't necessarily sound like it is the best layout after all. It's way too big. Uh, and we're going to also talk about that. Um, let's see if that opened up any yellow or red areas. It doesn't look like it. Uh, how many is that? Six, seven, eight. I can't believe that's how many I need right there. Nine. Um, actually, I think this is closer to what... One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, this is exactly uh, what... I need to use to describe what's going on and I think I did it before but I think I have more clarity on this but let's jump right into the comments um, so uh, I got four comments uh, several I think it was three of them were another game please and no two of them were another game please and two of them were um, Hopefully I don't slaughter your name. Will Fawn or Will Phone 5993. We'll just call you Will. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and begin. So the first one was by another game please says it meant the actual tooltip as mousing over it. So I think that means like mousing over it here. Look at that. It actually has coordinates in it now. Imbued with blood. Yuck. Oh, it's an ender pearl imbued with blood, Kurt. So that five, 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 nine, eight, eight, one, three, oh. Let's see if that's what our chords are right here. Five, five, nine. What were they? Uh, eighty-eight and one thirty. So that's one twenty-six, one twenty-seven, one twenty-eight. So that's the so that is the one that we were doing. Okay, so that actually is working. However, um, that's good to know because I mean I guess there's two ways to see tooltips. One is that down there, and I uh, just above our our flying and our armor is the tooltip. Um, but then of course there's also the mousing over tooltip, which I didn't even think of down dimension zero as well so this will even go across dimensions that's crazy i think it's time for a rest now uh so anyway yes that is um oh is that agatha or morticia agatha all right so let's go ahead and rest and then we'll talk about more of this hey agatha all right, so um, the next comment is uh, more information on the tele. Now I forgot what it's called. Teletransposer? Teleposer? <laughs> I also thought it was this tooltip it was talking about, not the actual eye tooltip. Uh, yeah, teleposer. Uh, so the second comment says, and you right click the teleposer with an empty hand. To open its inventory, use two foci to make connection two-way. Each focus right-clicked on the other telepose. Wait. Two-way. Each focus right-clicked on the teleposer and placed inside the other. Then adding some buttons to give a redstone signal. Ding. You uh, give you an elevator. Beam me up, potty. <laughs> so apparently... If we put this up here and we do this and we go to our empty hand, it actually has a thing. Now, I believe 
that this is the source so this would be the destination and we put that in there maybe and then we go like this uh, actually let's do this uh, let's see uh, that's not what I wanted to do go here I need to charge this guy in a while <laughs> All right, so redstone, we'll go ahead and grab 32 of those. Do I have any buttons? I do not, but yeah, they're not very hard. Planks, we just need one of those, just, just one, just one. All right, and then of course this doesn't have a crafting table built in, does it? Craftable. Oh no, that's not what I was thinking. Yeah, this isn't the one that actually has the crafting table built in. So we do have to come over here, go ahead and get a button. Button, button, who's got the button? Um, and grab our redstone. So if we did this right, what this is going to do is teleport that one over to here. I guess I could just stick a button on the teleposer, right? I don't have to have... Is this the one where we can know? Doesn't look like it actually thinks it accepts it. Um, there we go. So if I push this, let's see if it works. Ooh, that was so cool. Um, no, that didn't work. <laughs> How about this? No. And I might have... No, I wouldn't have it backward. Well, yes, because I have... I actually... Hold on. We have the... Oops, that was right. This is to this area, right? Uh, 130 and negative 559 which is 135.59. So this makes sense that you would actually put it in here. So I'm curious now, I wonder if just with a one dot if it will work. All right, so this should work. Okay. Clearly it wasn't going in there. How about this? No. <laughs> oh, I'm not reading my comments. I need to finish my comments. Alright. Now, it could also be that I have it backwards. But let, let's finish reading the comments just to make sure. I'm going to grab this guy out. Because maybe... Uh, oh, I put it right there. Uh, maybe what it is is I set it to this one, right? Did that work? 599-125. Yep, 125. And then put it in this one. So this is saying whatever is above that one ring over here right so maybe all right maybe I should can let's read more comments um, all right so anyway it says and you right click the teleposer with an empty hand to open its inventory use two foci to make the connection two way but we only want it one way right now we're not looking for the elevator just yet. Uh, each focus right clicked on the teleposer and placed inside the other one. So that makes sense. Then adding some buttons to give redstone signal. Dean, give you an elevator. Beam me up, potty. All right, then the next comment. Um, let me scroll up. So making a chamber that is 7 by 7, which is what we have over there. Uh, with a node in the middle and a node at each corner will have the center node eating the corner ones growing bigger but bowling each of the corner nodes slow enough that the corner nodes recover and never run out 
make your favorite node the center of attention. So basically where we have the, the stone blocks would be um, our corners. And then that one would be the our our star node, the one that we actually want. And what it will do is it's just in range to get those, but it'll drain them slow enough that they'll actually regain any of their things. So because this one, which I'm sh has to be the bigger, I think. Although it just says your favorite node. I don't know. I don't know how you would make it. To know it's going to be that. Um, so yeah, make your favorite node the center of attention. Uh, and I said, nice. So the bully node in the center and the bullied nodes would be in the bottom and top four corners, right? So eight bully nodes and one bully. And they said, uh, exactly. Some Mad Hatter would possibly try and ex uh, try expanding that setup with even more nodes like an outer shell making the corner nodes the bullies themselves but that thought makes my head hurt and uh, my head hurt like a node pyramid scheme so that's basically saying then if I treat this one like the center then I could put a node down here I think two blocks down over here one here one here however I don't think I can necessarily do one here and then of course also up we would have one like here here so I think that would only be able to expand it by three but I'm not a hundred percent sure because if we end up having a node here then that might mess it up maybe it won't I don't know but uh, yeah I agree it, it kind of makes your head hurt thinking about it so some setup kind of like this sounds ideal um, what I was thinking about doing also in this episode is we have I think it's 10 nodes we have a node in a jar and then I think we have 10 nodes that we got from quest rewards and maybe just like put them on a dirt block so they're just floating a little bit uh, and place them so they're at least four apart so no one's draining anyone at that point that way we can tell what nodes they are and then once we get this thing working properly we can actually structure it in here the way we want it if this is going to be the final resting place which doesn't matter to me if it is or isn't um so i think first thing is going to be getting this working uh so the last comment once again was another game please and says you don't want to use the spawned nodes in the trees as they are small I didn't even think you could necessarily use those. I mean, they're definitely within range of each other, and I haven't noticed like one turning into the other or, you know, bullying and being bullied kind of situation. Uh, especially like, uh, where's one? I mean, some of, actually, I think it's the one out here is the one I'm really thinking of. So, yeah, like this one. We have this node right here, and then we have one, two, three, and then we have that one up there. So I think that would be in range for one of these to draw off of the others. But as you can see, this is just the Adobe logo and the swirl, and this is just life. And they're not actually, you know, absorbing. No one's absorbing anyone else. So I, I don't know that you could actually use those. The other thing I don't know for sure is, is there a way at all to transport these nodes? And we can actually test that up here because we do have a couple nodes um, on top of this right here that are, that's actually a pretty good node as far as nodes go, and that one. So let's try and break this one like with a pickaxe, silk touch and see if it and it says axe does it matter wait what's that oh that's just moving it up there it's like doing it here and then it goes below it maybe i don't know um 
I mean, so that only has water in it and the Adobe logo. This has water, I think that's light, water, and earth, which is three of them. So let's try, I think, do we have a, a Silk Touch Axe? I don't think we can actually move. We do not have a Silk Touch one. But let's let's try this. I think it's going to explode. Yeah, there we go. Just explodes and gives us a plain log and a couple of our little guys. Do we have a torch on this guy to make sure it's bright enough? So there we go. Uh, we cannot break them. Uh, I'm actually surprised we didn't have the same colors that were actually in it. Hmm. It's night already. Whoa, we didn't fly. I'm glad we didn't take damage either, though. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and see if we can figure out the node stuff, uh, the teleportation device. And what I was thinking, because it says it just teleports blocks, so we don't even have to mess with a node. We can keep experimenting with it without a node. Um, and see if we can figure out how exactly it works. Uh, so I can take that. I'm going to keep that. Uh, let's go and break this. Alright, so if we come over here, I'm just going to put them over here. And we'll put like one right here. And maybe one right here. Trying to think, is there really a reason to have it too high? I don't think so. All right, so if we have one there and one there, let's go ahead and place that guy there and that guy there. And just to make sure that redstone is running into the device, although I guess I really don't care. And in fact, we have a block. We throw this block on top. All right, so this is the node that we're getting from, right? So I'm thinking we want to uh, do this, and now if we mouse over that, we can see 580, 122. We got five, so we're at definitely 122 there, and here we're definitely at 580. So we'll put that one in here. Oh, I might have changed it once I did. Do that, come over here. Okay, so it's 580-122 again. Let's go ahead and... Do, do, do. Where's my redstone? Do that. Oh, that's not redstone. That's the ugliest redstone I've ever seen. So if we do that, I don't know why I'm duplicating this. There's really no reason. Um, so this one has nothing in it. So if we power this one, where'd my button go? Did I, did I leave my button over here? Did I miss my button? Okay, that's weird. I think my button disintegrated. Uh, so PLAN, okay, so we'll do another plank. Easy enough, and turn it into a button. <coughs> and see if we can figure this out. All right, so right now, this guy over here, I guess I can put that up there so we can click. This has the guy that points to that guy. And I guess we could actually just do another ender pearl, and then we could keep it in both. And maybe it requires both, I don't know. Um, so if I power this guy, that doesn't make sense that that would do anything. There's nothing in it. So it makes sense that it would be this one, because it's going to power it. And I'm guessing that will cause it to look at that block and do that. Uh, move that one, right? 
Let's do this. No. All right, let's go ahead and make an, oh, I can do it here. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, Ender Pearl. And it sounds like if we can make an elevator, it could also teleport us, right? So maybe if we stand on it, and is there enough blood in here? I guess we'll find out. If not, I got more. There, now it's full. Alright, so now we got two of these things. And if I mouse over this with nothing, it just simply says it's imbued with blood. So I don't think it matters whose blood it is. Alright, so this one has one in it, right? This one, that one's to this guy. Let's make sure. Uh, 580, 131. So we got 579. If we come over here, it's 580. And if we come over here, it's 131. So that is correct. And then, oh crap, <laughs> I did it again. Uh, <laughs> come back over here now. 580, 131, perfect. All right, so now if we do that, nothing. Okay, how about this side? Huh. Um, what about if it's me? I mean, maybe it can't. That should be able to be a solid block. That shouldn't stop anything. So if I were to throw a block on top of here. Oops. Like so. Go ahead and put a torch on that. If I hit this, that should still power it, right? Whew! Didn't do anything. Alright, so the other thing I was wondering is maybe you have to power this block directly, like with a, uh, a repeater, maybe. So let's try that. We'll grab some more dirt while we're at it. Oops, wrong thing. So a DIRT. I'm going to grab another 32 of that, 33. And uh, do I have any repeaters? RE repeaters. It does not look like it. So we're going to need some sticks. STI, oh, there they are. Uh, go ahead and grab some sticks. Go ahead and I think we have stone. We do have stone, so that's good. All right, so we'll go make a repeater. Let's see if maybe that helps. Uh, so we're going to need, uh, what is it, three of these. Go shabang, shabang, shabang. And that, and a little bit of that. Wait. A stone. Oh, I'm thinking compar comparator. That's okay. All right, so here's a repeater. Uh, where am I over here? So this, oops, wrong thing. This is going to take the signal here and force it directly into that block. Oh. Alrighty. Let's teleport. Hmm. <laughs> Dang it. Beam me up, Scotty. Or what was it? Beam me up, Potty. No. Hmm. So this has the thing for that one. All right, so let's, we're gonna try some other things real quick. So it's powering that block from the side. It could be maybe where we're powering it. 
So if I do, uh, what do I want to do? I want to put this guy back. And I didn't do it right. This guy back. Oh, great. So I can open it with a log in my hand. I just can't open it. All right, let's try this. Oh, whoops. So I don't think this is going to do much, to tell you the truth. So if I power up from, I don't know if it matters where it's powering from. Or which one it's powering from. Look at that, we got a nice repeating loop there. Hmm. So that doesn't do anything, and that doesn't do anything. And we're sure we've got 580, 122, negative 580. So we come here, this is the, there's the negative 580 and the 122. So that is correct. Can I open it with just anything? It's just I can't open it with that. And then 580 and 131, so we're still on the 580 right here and 131 is there so that is right but we are not teleporting all right well we're out of time <coughs> it's been three game three days in game I'm gonna have to look into this more um, However, you know what? Before we go, it's 27. We'll, we'll do it in the next episode. We will get all our little nodes and kind of place them in a nice little line or something like that, somewhere around here. Um, so we can tell which nodes we want and which ones we don't. I'm gonna maybe watch some videos or read up on the Teleposer and see if I can figure anything out there because clearly something is not right here so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a thumbs up down below aside from that comment like and subscribe click that little notification bell follow me on twitter check out my discord and my other channels and don't forget to tell other people about my channel i'm checking it out if they like what they see they can sub and we can grow the channel. And that is it, my friends. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.